Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about my spring capsule wardrobe for 2023. Before I talk about the clothes, I wanted to describe my capsule wardrobe in few words. While preparing my wardrobe and making a wish list, I've noticed a theme running through. And I'm sure if you analyze your wardrobe, you'll find a certain vibe that your wardrobe is gonna have for next season. My spring collection is about layers to stay warm in this changing weather but also to create some interesting and fun looks um, about volume and proportions because I can wear all these oversized jackets, long floaty skirts and dresses and chunky shoes. My wardrobe is much more feminine than in winter but not in a girly way but it's also more experimental. I'm adding some color fun elements, pattern, some pieces that are quite challenging to style with my clothes. So I want to show you my wardrobe, what pieces I'm gonna wear and what's important for me this season. And I'm talking about spring uh, wardrobe today, but <laughs> train outside. And I'm talking about spring wardrobe today, but believe me, the weather outside is horrendous. Uh, yes, it's dark, cold, rainy and very, very gloomy, so it doesn't feel springy to me. But I know spring is going to surprise us because it always happens. I also think it's going to help me and hopefully you as well to plan ahead for spring and analyze your wardrobe and see what you have, see what you uh, need for complete outfits. And with all that in mind, you can make educated uh, decisions and purchases. So let's start with my wardrobe. Just a little disclaimer before I dive into all these items I want to show you. We have very different wardrobes, we have very different lifestyles and we need to adjust or adapt our clothes to that. I really want to focus on uh, versatility practicality and styling aspect of the clothes. Your t-shirts are the glue of your outfits in spring, summer and maybe beginning of autumn and they will go with any wardrobe from the very minimalistic one, the Scandinavian simple uh, neutral wardrobe to very boho crazy colors and very adventurous. T-shirts uh, should be made uh, from natural material. I only buy cotton, but you can also find silk, lyocell, uh, linen. Uh, a polyester blend is a no-no for me because your t-shirt is uh, directly on your skin. So I don't want anything that will cause me any discomfort. My t-shirts, how do I style them? Simply with my, actually I would style them with everything in my wardrobe but because t-shirts are not very smart and uh, sophisticated I would mainly wear them with my trousers, black, grey, beige and with my skirts. I think these three colours is all you need, white, black and stripe. Stripe may not be your thing but white and black or maybe navy if you don't wear black is something that always comes in handy. This is the base of your outfit so I think it's really good to have the basic but very flattering colors that will always, um, especially when you don't know what to wear, these will always make your choices easier. On top of my basic t-shirts I like to have something a little bit more special, something more elegant, uh, like this one for example. This is quite unusual top blouse t-shirt, I don't know how to call it. I could wear it daily with my uh, jeans to work with a blazer. This is, uh, I would say this is a very smart and just nice top. Instead of white, you can choose something more uh, evening appropriate, which, uh, let me just get that. It could be uh, something cream, something, I don't know, what is that color? It's a bit like champagne, brown, taupe. Oh, is it taupe? I think it's taupe. Still very much my style because this is quite an oversized t-shirt, but it's not overdressed. So I can see this with black smart trousers and black blazer 
or any other color actually white will be beautiful the thing about the special t-shirts is that i can wear them with my jeans uh, blue or black or white and they will make the jeans more smart so the whole outfit automatically becomes more sophisticated I almost forgot this top. It's such a simple top to wear on its own with a t-shirt underneath, under the blazer, under any jacket and again with any trousers and with my skirt, especially my black one. It's quite unique and different. It actually uh, goes with the uh, see-through, what is that, fishnet uh, trend uh, for spring, which is really nice. As you know, I don't follow trends, I just check them out time to time to see if they catch up with my style. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't and that's fine. In general, I really love knitted tops for spring and summer. Of course, if they're made from natural fabric like uh, cotton or linen, um, I just always find them very comfortable, very chic. So I also added this fun t-shirt. I would say this is my equivalent of a band t-shirt. I don't like band t-shirts, I just don't like them in my wardrobe, they don't work. I find them too casual for me. Anyway, uh, a graphic t-shirt, how I style it, again, because it's a t-shirt and it's quite casual, I will just wear it with a pair of trousers like these. Black trousers automatically elevate the whole look even if it's a t-shirt but it's also more fun and young so I feel like, especially in my age, being 40, it's a nice thing to have to wear with your black blazer or if you have colorful blazer you can always pull out a color from your t-shirt which in this case would be a green blue that would be amazing with electric blue blazer or something yellow i actually love such t-shirts with my skirts i always feel like skirts are already more put together than jeans for example the next category that i absolutely love in spring is shirts and it's both cotton shirts and linen shirts because this is the time or will be in a few weeks when i start wearing my linen in general i love linen Oh, I just can't wait to wear all my linen pieces. You may know that I have a lot of shirts, especially blue shirts, but I didn't want to bring everything because they would take up the whole space. <laughs> yes, I have white, blue, taupe, what else? Uh, some pinstripe. Oh, and I have my pink shirt, of course I do. Uh, shirts next to my t-shirts are the main tops I wear in spring. Very practical, easy to style, they're very easy to wear. You don't feel, especially with your oversized shirts, you don't feel restricted. I like this relaxed look with the shirt that uh, most likely, like in this case, comes from a men's wardrobe and I'm sure in this shirt is much happier in my wardrobe where I can wear it more uh, relaxed and more casual with my jeans, for example, my white jeans. Can you imagine that look? Yeah, anything. Black trousers, grey trousers or my beige trousers that I have somewhere here. Anyway, you'll see everything in a cutaway. Uh, I already mentioned the trousers, you wear them with the trousers as a top, but you can also wear them on top of your tank top or a more fitted t-shirt. And it doesn't have to be um, baggy oversized trousers, it can be something more fitted like your jeans or your cigarette trousers. I also love an oversized shirt with my midi skirts. I think they would look great with a mini skirt, something tailored perhaps. A really nice long shirt, maybe tucked in on one side. Yeah, just to show your waist, but not too much. So it's still nonchalant. Not for me though, but if you wear mini skirts, try with a shirt. I think that's a really nice look. The next category is not gonna be a surprise to you, is wide leg trousers. I'm wearing my black trousers and it's something that I wear in every season, any time of year. If you're looking for an idea to style black trousers for spring, you can go back to my previous video, I highly recommend it. But because it's spring, I also like to have a different option in terms of color. So of course something grey, something beige. Wide leg trousers are very easy to style for your daily outfits for more casual outfits. You only need to use few tricks, few styling techniques 
to actually wear them in a more relaxed way and to feel put together but still very casual. Uh, so I would always pair them with my sneakers, with my backless loafers. When it gets even warmer, you can wear them with a Birkenstock, whether it's clogs or sandals. There's so many nice footwear that you can pair with your wide leg trousers. That's flat, comfortable, very practical for an everyday wear. And I already mentioned that, but in terms of uh, tops, I would wear anything with my trousers. T-shirts, oversized shirts, uh, jumpers because oh yes I'm gonna have jumpers as well I forgot okay I'll come back to jumpers so yes jumpers and in knitted tops like I've mentioned before like your knitted vest anything really goes with your trousers and the good thing about uh, wearing trousers is that you have that one tailored element in your outfit so you can wear any jacket with it you can of course wear your blazer um, and a simple t-shirt for example but you can also go for a denim jacket I love this combination of uh, wool or like smart trousers and denim jackets you can wear your leather jacket you can wear your trench coat uh, you can just wear a, an oversized shirt as a jacket of course because the weather is getting warmer we're not going to be wearing our heavy flannel trousers heavy wool trousers uh, so you can swap them for something lighter like cotton or linen or Lysol for example. Here I just wanted to show you my white linen and beige, this is linen and cotton mix, is it? Sorry, this is cotton viscose mix. So both light fabric, uh, light colors as well, very easy to style with your oversized shirt with your t-shirt and something on top like your blazer, your jacket and some lighter footwear. So I would say your flats like ballerina flats, Mary Janes, your sneakers of course, they will always go and your Birkenstocks again. I can really see that outfit with a beige suede Birkenstock. Ugh. It's on my wish list, that's why I keep thinking about them. I also really love, I forgot to mention, I also really love my linen trousers with um, knitwear, like heavy oversized knitwear. I think this is a great transitional outfit both now for spring but also in autumn when it gets colder. Again, you can have a t-shirt underneath. Whenever you get warm, you can take off the jumper, put it on your shoulders, you have the third item. It's very practical as well. I did forget to mention knitwear. Of course, I still wear my jumpers. Um, it's really not that warm yet in London. In general, I would say for this time of year, the best material for knitwear is either cotton or merino wool. So actually for my knitwear, I have four jumpers that I've selected to wear in spring and it's two neutrals and two a little bit more different with a twist or with a print. So this one is a cotton mix. Uh, this again I got from Jigsaw Sample Sale. I love this jumper style, it's so awesome. The long sleeve, the very oversized uh, style in general. This is actually a size large and I know it's not really my color. However, <laughs> I fell in love with it and I decided I'm gonna make it work. And my second jumper is merino wool. As you can see, it's an oversized but not huge. This is from a Grey Cove company that I already mentioned in my previous video. Uh, it's a jumper they sent me very kindly. So this one is a size extra large. I, I feel like it's just right. So and they run quite small and this size is perfect because I can create a really nice oversized uh, look with my midi skirts, uh, with my white trousers. Yes, with my white linen trousers. I definitely appreciate the volume because it's much more interesting in my opinion. And the other two jumpers, you already know this one. This is from Massimo Dutti that I added recently. I was looking for something striped and in this particular style with um, a white sleeve, quite cropped. Uh, so this is a really good jumper. I've been wearing it quite a lot since I got it. So I really recommend this one. And this is something, again, I got in a sample sale. I went a bit crazy in there. 
This jumper makes me very happy. First of all, it's white. I love white uh, in spring and summer. It's got blue details, which you know how much I love. And it's got very nice style because it's quite cropped. Very nice white sleeves. Uh, and it's made from cotton and linen. Very nice uh, composition. But in general, it's got this very boho vibe. Not my style, but I really love it. I tried it on with my uh, wide leg trousers, with my denim jeans and... Ooh, also would be nice with white jeans. It's gonna work as my uh, spring summer top that I can just wear casually. Feel very relaxed, but still cool. As you may know already, I prefer my trousers over the jeans. Uh, nonetheless, I wear them and I have three pairs right now in my wardrobe. White, blue and black. How I style my jeans. Uh, first of all, these are, I will show you some cutaways so you can actually see how they look like. Uh, these are a barrel leg, these are a wide leg and my, uh, and my black pair is also a barrel or balloon jeans. So as you can see, I prefer a looser fit, something that's quite different, unique, something that's true to myself and not something that's trendy right now. Because denim is quite casual by definition, I would just style them with something that can elevate the outfit. So most of the time in an oversized shirt, whether it's cotton or linen, a nicer top like the one I'm wearing, something a little bit more special. Not necessarily the graphic tee, that's not my style. It's a bit too many casual elements in one outfit. But I would wear a t-shirt with my jeans if I knew I will be pairing that with a nice blazer or a trench coat. Somebody asked me in the comments, I think in my last video, if I ever wear skirts, no, if I ever wear dresses. And the answer is yes, I wear dresses much more in spring, especially um, your flowy, voluminous skirts. I wear midi and maxi skirts and dresses, especially things like, um, how to show you? <laughs> ah. Wait. It's a very long skirt, you probably can't see. Perfect for me, this is my favorite, uh, absolutely favorite length. It's a bit heavier fabric. It's got this tie to go around your waist. This type of skirt is very practical. You can actually wear it in the park with your small child. You can sit uh, on the blanket having picnic. You can go sightseeing. You can travel in it. It's very practical. It's very comfortable. It's very forgiving because you can just wear some oversized shirt with it, a jumper, a blazer, denim jacket with it, anything to actually cover this area. So I would say this is my preferred style of skirts and dresses because my dress, my actually both dresses are in very similar style. If you style it with a tailored shirt, nice uh, loafers or your chunky derbies or even your boots, and a blazer on top. The outfit is still uh, put together, it's more elevated. And my second skirt that I know I will be wearing in spring is this bias skirt, which I got in a sample sale from Jigsaw. This is something I have been eyeing for a while, but first I found it too expensive and then it was all sold out. And I actually found it in my size, I was so shocked. And again, it's a perfect length, very much like the, uh, the black one. I feel much younger and modern in this length of a skirt because I can wear it with my sneakers, with my derbies, even with an ankle boots if I choose to look a little bit more sophisticated, a little, a little bit more French. And it goes with any tops, a t-shirt, an oversized shirt, a jumper, and any jacket. Ooh. I want to talk about my dresses. So, as I mentioned, and I wasn't lying, I really appreciate and I enjoy this style of dresses. Uh, very voluminous, very floaty, something that doesn't make me feel restricted. This one is easy, even though it's a white dress, 
I wore it a lot last year when I got it. It washes very well, it's made from a really nice fine cotton uh, with lining. Again, because it's, uh, it's quite feminine of course, because it's a tear dress, white with some with some frilly elements. I found a way to wear it my way, with my sneakers, with a leather jacket, with a blazer, a men's blazer. Again, something oversized, but of course it will look great with uh, any sandals when it gets warmer. And I have a copy of this dress in black, which I got in a vintage shop, except this dress is made from heavier, more stiff cotton. Long sleeve, very simple, tiered maxi dress, also very easy to style, again you can wear any shoes, I just wouldn't wear any heels with it. The last but really important category when it comes to clothing for spring is my outerwear and I absolutely love my spring um, jackets, coats, blazers, everything. I don't think I mentioned, but spring is my favorite time of year. I love it for so many reasons, but mostly because it's just after a long, dark and cold winter. Flowers, uh, singing birds outside in the garden and being able to wear my favorite clothes again after winter. So I'm gonna go through my jackets very quickly just to show you what I have and what I love wearing in spring. This is the wind outside. Uh, so this is my vintage uh, Levi's jacket. Um, I absolutely love it. It's quite worn out, especially on the collar here, which you can't see really when you wear it like that. Very cool. I love it despite of it. And I actually think it adds a special little something to the whole look of the jacket. I prefer to style it with something tailored. Uh, so my black trousers, my linen trousers, I really love that look together, maybe a tank top underneath and this or a t-shirt. It looks absolutely amazing with skirts and dresses, it toughens up the look, it adds an edge to the outfit but also uh, something casual, something daily, a cropped jacket. Something that's again trendy this season um, but it's something that I've been wanting to add to my wardrobe for a really long time. It's a very simple black gold buttons. Well it's not that simple. I think because it's black and the buttons are so out there they really stand out. It's quite classic, Chanel-esque I would be careful with styling such a jacket because uh, it, can, it can very easily look old-fashioned and too dressed up. So wearing that with jeans or my wide leg trousers and, uh, and a pair of sneakers. Also, I wouldn't pair it with anything fitted at the bottom. So your skinny jeans or your very slim trousers, I would always try and add some volume at the bottom. Uh, so any skirt, um, again, white jeans would be nice as well with that. And a simple white tee is always a winner if you're not sure what, what to pair it with. Um, but of course, a black t-shirt, a little jumper, stripes. I tried, I actually wore that the other day and stripes look great with it. I love the jacket, the fit is great. Uh, yes, this jacket, let me wear it with this outfit. Just some white sneakers and I think that's a really nice combination. Maybe also to add something more casual, um, you can add a jumper over your shoulders. Let me see. So simple, black and white. It never fails. There you go. You know what, I'm just gonna wear it <laughs> so you can see. A uh, leather jacket. This one is quite long. It's actually an oversized jacket, old one from Zara. Again, the simple styling always works. Black trousers, white top, whatever top you have. If you're unsure, always start with something like that. If you're looking for a good leather jacket, at this moment of my life, I would say try vintage shops, first of all. Try uh, secondhand online. If you can't find anything that you really like, go for a good 
quality, well-made jackets. I wouldn't recommend Zara, H&M or any other high street. That quality and ethical side of the production is uh, questionable. Invest in a well-made jacket that you know you're gonna wear for years and years and years. On my wish list I have a vintage leather jacket that's more cropped and wide. I only have this one leather jacket and I feel like it would really add to my styling possibilities uh, and choices. Yeah but this jacket goes again with all my dresses and skirts. It's a really great item to toughen up the outfit if you feel like it's too feminine, too delicate, puff sleeves, very tailored pieces. This will always go and will create a nice balance outfit. I feel like I use balance today a lot. Uh, maybe one of the words in my spring capsule should be balance. Balance. I like this word because it really, uh, it really represents my style and how I like to wear my clothes. Another outerwear that I cannot leave without, especially in spring, summer and autumn, is a blazer. This one is linen. I specifically chose linen because I don't really have any linen pieces here uh, so I wanted to show you that you can already style your linen pieces at the beginning of spring, at this time of year. It's linen and viscose so a really good composition for warmer days. Very nice color, it goes with everything. Very nice with any trousers, any jeans, a white t-shirt, any blazer not just linen, any blazer, any wool blazer looks great with skirts and dresses. They uh, complete each other, they again balance each other. Blazer is perfect outerwear for more feminine and girly pieces. And the last jacket that is a must in my wardrobe is a trench coat. Uh, right now it's the only trench coat in my wardrobe, can you believe it? I really wanted to add a navy trench coat this year and last year but I wasn't lucky, I couldn't find anything that uh, spoke to me. Yeah, this one, you know it so well. I love long line coats in general, any time of year. Um, I always feel like they elongate um, the frame, they add something sophisticated and classy to the outfit and I always feel very put together and confident in a long coat. And trench coat is no different, it's uh, great for this time of year because it's light. This coat is actually double sided, you can wear it on this side, which I wouldn't, uh, it's not my thing, but you can see the buttons. Uh, and the pocket, everything is really well made from the inside, so you can wear it on this side as well. Trench coat, how do you wear it? How do you style it? Let me just say, there is no item in my wardrobe and any wardrobe you present to me, I wouldn't wear trench coat with. Probably the most versatile piece of outerwear out there. <laughs> So if you don't have one, I highly recommend a classic trench coat in a color and shade that suits your skin tone. The very last thing for spring that I think is really worth um, not necessarily investing, it doesn't have to be expensive, but to have is a really nice light color uh, handbag, something that will warm up your outfit, especially if you love a neutrals, black, white, gray, just a bag that's more in a natural material, maybe fabric or a, a basket bag. Um, I really think it's a nice uh, spring and fresh element to add to your wardrobe to make it more light but also just a light colored bag. So um, I have this one here. Again, this is from my uh, collaboration with W Concept. I've never had a white bag before and I really like this one. This is more like a briefcase. I feel like I'm gonna style this bag a lot with my outfits in spring and summer because I wear so much more white in these seasons. 
I feel like any uh, lighter color bag, like something in a cream, taupe, beige, you can of course wear these bags in winter, but spring calls for something lighter, something more airy, especially if you have a bucket bag, a nice uh, brownie, creamy color, I think that would work really nicely in a spring wardrobe. Okay guys, so this is my spring capsule wardrobe. I'm not a minimalist, so my wardrobe is not very small, but it's still very curated. It's made up of things I really love, uh, things that represent my style and my personality. I think more important than the number of items in your wardrobe is the content of it. That is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it somehow useful. Uh, thank you very much for your likes, your comments. I absolutely love reading your comments. Sometimes I'm a bit late with my replies, but I always eventually get back to you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And in the meantime, have a lovely week and and see you next time. Bye!